Hey everyone, today we're going to do a review on Enail Couture's 123 Go Nails in the Eternal Beige Coffin Style. So the first thing I want to do is a quick review on the tip. I want to take a look at the tip itself. Um, you can see it is a bit more sheer towards the base of the nail where the cuticle goes and a little less sheer as it gets through to the tip. Um, I personally like that. I think that's one just so that you can um, cure the nail with the flash lamp but also so that you're not seeing so much of the nail through the colored tips like you do with the Apres style tips so I'm excited to see how these look. Um, they're a little flexible here at the end but again that thin flexibility is so that it's a lot more flush in the cuticle area and it doesn't look like you're wearing press on nails. The Apri is just a slightly bit thicker and I do have to do a little more cuticle work where with these I'm thinking I'm not going to have to do as much but we'll we'll see how it goes. I want to test the flexibility. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about the bend in these nails. There's definitely some bend but the nail hasn't been applied yet so it's hard to say what it's going to bend like once it's on your nail but you can see if i take some force it is getting compromised a little bit here um, on the on the softer side that goes on the nail bed um, so i just kind of want to see how much is it going to bend and if it bends am i going to have an issue so i'm pushing really really hard to make this happen i'm pressing down super hard and now once i do it one time i can see it's compromised the tip and it has like a little bend mark right there um, and it is over the free edge area so that could potentially be a problem i um but I think if you're just putting the builder gel or the base coat or whatever, poly gel, whatever it is you're using all the way down to the tip, it might alleviate that problem. Um, oh, side note, I received my order today of the um, almond shape tips that I ordered from them. I ordered two packs, one for me and one for a giveaway. I ordered the base coat and some files. Their files are awesome. And I also ordered the tip box, which they refunded me for the tip box because the tip box did not arrive with my order. So my goal was to be able to give away a set with a tip box here. I'm showing you what the tip box looks like as well as the base coat. But I got velvet matte top coat instead of base coat. So we're going to test out their customer service. I sent them an email, let them know about their mistake and asked them if they could send me the base coat. Uh, let's cross our fingers because if not, I don't know that I'm going to want to do a giveaway with just the tips <laughs> uh, so we'll see what happens but let's take one of these um, almond shaped ones out and their almond shape is more of a stiletto shape in other brands and I know some people are super picky what they call almond super picky what they call stiletto but these to me are what I would call stiletto I knew that going in when I ordered them they call them almond to me they're stiletto they might be almond to you but I want to show you the the tip and it's a little less bendy than the color tips, which um, still a little more flexible than the Apre tips. I would liken these as flexible as the Kiara Sky tips that I received, so a little softer on the end, but not super, super like bendy. So you can bend them. They are flexible, but you can see here, once I have them on, that flexibility stops. And all I did was ran the base coat down the end of the nails when I applied them, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. So let's focus on the clear tips right now. I am going to um, show you how long they are. So I've already cut down their coffin tips just a smidge. So they're about the same length as the coffin prior to cutting them down because all I did was cut them down to um, underneath where the numbers are. But let's take a look. On the left here, I have the Apre coffin, or I'm sorry, the Apre still sculpted long <laughs> tip and then on the right I have the Enail Couture 123 Go almond tip. So you can see they were the same length. They look very similar. The main difference is in the thickness. The Apre is definitely thicker, a lot more sturdy, um, but otherwise they are pretty similar. The main difference that I have is um, Enail Couture's are all more of a natural fit where the apre i ordered the sculpted so i think i'm going to show you here what they look like side by side so you can get an idea so here we have it's very hard to see i was trying to get a right a good angle you can see there's a 
bit more of an apex on the apri tip which is on the left hand side and a little bit less of an apex on the enail couture and they they look like they're going to fit just like the ones i'm wearing now and these are the coffin so here I'm showing on the Epri tip. You can kind of see that gap in there. You're gonna need, need a little more gel to fill that gap and it gives a little more lift, a little more of that sculpted nail look. With the E-Nail Couture brand, it's a little uh, closer to your actual nail. There's a slight lift in there, but that's so you have room to put the gel in and it gives a much more natural fit. Um, so it just, that's a preference thing. If you like a more natural fit or more sculpted fit, it depends on what you like. So, um, yeah, I have the pack here for you guys. Uh, it's going to be in a future giveaway, probably on our Facebook page. We're going to find out if we get the base coat. Um, I have no need for the velvet matte top coat, so maybe I'll add that into the giveaway if it happens. I just don't want to give away incomplete product, so I got to figure something out here. It might just have to be a mishmash giveaway when we do it. And again, giveaways would be on my Facebook page versus on my YouTube page, um, which I will have linked down below in case you want to join our Facebook page. So now let's get into the application review. So I have all my tips here and I'm sizing them out. Enail Couture comes with 11 sizes and I ordered a tip box when I ordered these and they came in at the time and so I just have them all inside the tip box and I took the sticker off the little um, bags that they came in and put them on my tip box there so now I'm gonna start sizing them out I'm pretty sure I know what sizes I am it might just take a little bit of a mix up here just because they go from 0 to 11 versus 0 to 9 um, so I ended up wearing a 10 on my pinky nail so I'm grabbing that now apparently I'm going a little slower on this portion here but here we go we got the 11 um, sizing it up I'm sorry the 10 I'm sizing it up it fits um, I'm looking at the side walls here everything looks good so so um, this one looks like it's a go, but you can see it's not as sheer as the um, base color tips from Apre, which I actually prefer. And in this video, they look super peach in color, but they're actually a very soft pink color. So they're not beige, but they're like a pink that has a little bit of a beige peach undertone. The color of these tips in person is absolutely stunning i have to say um comparing these to the apri color tips i 100 percent love this color of the enail couture the best so we're sizing them up here still another thing with enail couture that really is driving me wild is their shipping times i just don't understand why they're still taking so long they started this massive growth back in November. We're in March now. Now, granted, we have some things crazy going on in the world today, but I ordered way before that, and to wait three weeks for a product is just unreal at this point in time. I feel like they could have hired more people by now, um, I feel like perhaps when I watch Max's videos, I love his personality. He is just so adorable, but I feel like his business skills are just not quite there yet. I feel like at this point, that's something that should have been addressed and already working on remedying, but I'm going to cut him a little more grace. But if after six months of this, the shipping is still taking forever, I may just no longer order from them and I have been a big fan of theirs for years but it just I customer service for me is huge um, so there's that and then I'm really worried about their customer service I've never had a customer service issue with them but now I just got the wrong product after waiting three weeks for my product and I emailed them so we're gonna see how they respond fingers crossed that I have good customer service and um, that eventually they take care of these shipping issues and we can go on happy as can be because I do love their products so much here um, skipping ahead now to what I'm actually doing in the video I am using acetone to etch the tips so um, I think you can file these he didn't I don't 
I've seen so many of his videos and he shows so many different ways of applying these. So I think the color tips can still be filed, but if I recall correctly with these um, color tips, you should etch them with acetone or primer just so that you're not getting scratch marks inside the um, well of the nail. So that's why I'm etching them using the acetone here. But again, if you watch um, King of Nails on Instagram or if you watch Enail Couture on Facebook, he puts out a lot of videos with a lot of different ways to apply these nails. There's not one set way. I, cho I ordered my set when these first came on the market or maybe just after they first came on the market I've had them for months and months and haven't used them so I ordered them with the base coat the first time and the base coat did arrive the first time so I had it here last night when I applied these and um, so that's how I'm going to apply them and I thought I still had some of his dehydrator and bonder left from um, when I was using his poly gel system which is another great system of theirs that I love but I guess I ran out and I probably should have ordered more, but at this point, I'm not waiting another three or four weeks to get them, so I'm gonna skip out on ordering them, and I'm using my um, a pre dehydrator and my Young Nails Bonder, um, just because those were right, what were right there when I was getting ready to do these, and I do prefer the Young Nails Protein Bond. This stuff is amazing so i'm gonna I, and i always apply two coats of this so i'll do one on each nail and then i'll go back and do one more and um, this stuff really for me has made a difference in lifting it's made a difference in longevity of wear and um, i just prefer it so i'm having a really hard time trying to film here like get the filming in i'm not at my usual nail desk i'm actually um, at my coffee table in the living room we're watching that tiger movie on Netflix it's insane so I was watching that with my husband while I was applying and I could it was very hard to sit on the floor doing my nails making sure I was videoing making sure I was in the angle of the camera oh my gosh it was such a hot mess last night but I applied them we make it through and um, so we're gonna show you how it goes so now I'm getting ready to put the base coat on my nails, on my actual nails. So just one thin coat of the base coat and I'm going to put on my actual nails here. And um, it's a little bit thinner than the Apre um, gel, Extend Gel, and it's way thinner than the Kiara Sky base gel or builder gel so we have three different consistencies in the base gel or builder gel or extend gel whatever you want to call it each brand has its own formula its own consistency so this one's pretty thin um it the smell is mm, not great uh, i don't think any of these smell great though and it's not strong it just was not pleasant for me I don't know and again it wasn't strong at all and as soon as it cured the smell was gone so not a big deal in my mind it just has I don't I can't place what it smells like I wish I could describe it but it's not like very nail polishy or gel polishy in smell it just has some other smell to it that's just to me it was maybe plastic smelling um I don't know but I just wasn't a fan of the smell. But again, it wasn't overpowering. It wasn't too bad. And um, it, as soon as I cured it, it was fine. But what I did notice, because this was a thinner base gel, I had problems with it running into my cuticles and on the sidewalls of my nails, which I don't have that issue with the Apri system and I don't have that issue with the Kiara Sky system. So that's something to keep in mind with this one. And it, it applies more like a gel polish. So knowing that my application should have been a little different, um, 
and I kind of figured it out right here. So when I did my right hand, I corrected that issue and I didn't have cleanup issues, but that's just a learning curve. It's not an issue with the formula. It's not an issue with the product. It's just learning how to use the Enail Couture product. So that's a specific to their formula. It's a little thinner, more like a gel polish. And um, because my nails are super curved, this is a problem that I have with gel polish. So sometimes what what I do is I flash cure in between nails for like five seconds just to prevent a little bit of that movement. It's just something I have to do because of the shape of my nails. Maybe you wouldn't have to do that, um, but I, I did end up doing my thumb separately. I already cured the other four fingers and now I'm doing my thumb just to prevent it from running into the sidewalls of my nails here. And I'm not really showing the process of curing it just because who wants to sit there and wait a minute watching nails dry, but this is what they look like after. And I think if you just wanted to have your natural nails with a little added protection, this base gel looks great. So um, I think on its own, it could be good as well. Now I'm applying it into the well of the, the extended tip. And I'm applying the same as I would the apri i'm trying to make sure i have enough in there but not too much that it spills over and i'm going to put it on my nail here and i like to just kind of rock it on there nice and slow and once i see that it's reached the free edge of my nail then i put it in front of the flash cure light and you can see i just keep the flash cure light on at an angle a little bit um, up so that I can just put my nail in front of it when I'm ready since I'm doing these on my own. I'm rotating my nail. I'm not leaving it on there very long. And you're, I realize right here that I, because these are colored tips, that I do need to leave it in the flash cure lamp just a little bit longer. And you're going to see here why. Um, I'm trying to make sure I get all the angles. I look at the bottom. I can see here that I didn't get any gel on the outside, which is great but I did get some on my cuticle area right in there. So I'm gonna have some filing to do. Um, well, or maybe not because you're gonna see right now when I'm testing the tip out to see how the flash cure light works. Cause if you remember with the Kiera Sky, it hardened it so fast and I could not get those tips off. Here, a little force popped it off, granted. This is not an issue with the E-Nail Couture nails. This is just me testing out the strength of the Flash Cure on their colored tips. So the instructions for these are you put the, the base gel, the poly gel, whatever you're using in, you do a Flash Cure, and then after you have all your nails on, you do a complete cure for a minute in a... Um, larger lamp with more wattage so when i was pushing it off i was not supposed to do that that was me testing just to see the strength of their lamp so this is not an email couture issue this is a maria issue just so we are all on the same page so now i'm curing this one again and i'm doing a quick flash cure again i'm making sure i hold it um i did get a little gel on the outside so i'm Sorry, I'm off camera, but I'm cleaning that up along the edges here. Um, and I am going to flash cure this one and then we'll go on to the others. Um, running the builder gel down the bottom of the nail here. Oh, I do actually, before I flash cure it, I grab a little more builder gel and I run it down the base of the nail all the way down um, just because I want to add a little more strength to it and I didn't have enough gel to run it all the way through so that's what I'm doing here and then I'll go ahead and cure the nail and now it's on there so now we're going to apply the rest of the nails and I'm going to just do the same thing on each nail I'm going to go ahead and don't ask me what I'm doing here I don't know why I'm keeping this going, but I apparently I did, and I'm not going to edit this again because, well, I just feel like getting it posted at this point. So you guys are just looking at the table while I walked away to do 
who knows what and for how long. Let's see if I do have to stop this and edit it. <laughs> Here we go. Looks like we're back. All right. It looks like we're back in business. It looks like I'm checking the camera, getting things situated again, and now we're ready to go. <laughs> Sorry for the hiccup, but here we go. I'm going to start applying the base gel and I just do this with each nail and I just, as I go, I'm figuring out a little less gel in these nails is probably better because it is a thinner formula and I'm trying to make sure I get it everywhere where my actual nail will touch so that I have good coverage and I haven't quite figured out yet do I need more do I need less um, I'm still trying to learn that at this point so this is again my first time using these so when I did my left hand it took me a little bit longer as I was learning how to use these how much gel I needed to put in um, what I was doing right what I was doing wrong so this set took me a total maybe about 40 minutes start to finish when i did my right hand i was able to do that hand in under 20 minutes so big difference uh, and in the application between the left and the right hand and learning how to use this product so we're going to just keep going we're going to keep applying here um putting the gel in and then applying it to my nails. And then once I do all the nails, I do flash cure them for a for one minute under the, the larger lamp. And my larger lamp is a 48 watt lamp. It's one that I bought on Amazon. Uh, it's a sun UV lamp and it works perfectly. I love that lamp. Um, but I am learning that with the colored tips for Enail Couture, because they are uh, a bit fuller coverage, I should be flash curing them a bit longer than I would than if they were completely clear. The clear ones might not need to cure as long as these um, needed to cure. So I think that's a bit of a learning curve for me. When I did my right hand, the other thing that I did differently was I lifted up my 48 watt lamp um, a little bit higher and I went ahead and flash cured them using that just for a stronger cure because with these I noticed once I had them all on there were some areas where there was a little lift a couple of little bubbles and um, they were on and they were on really strong on my hand here so I couldn't just take them off and fix those areas and I couldn't get gel under there again to fix those areas because I'd already flash cured them and then completely cured them. So um, it, it made it uh, a little less of a neat application just because I did have those bubbles because I didn't um, cure them long enough on the flash cure portion here so again I don't think this is an e-nail couture thing this is more of a Maria learning curve thing Oh my God, guys, I am so losing my train of thought. Um, I don't know about you guys, if everyone is home at home right now because of everything that's going on with the COVID-19, but my daughter's home from school and work. My husband is working from home. I am working from home. We're all here 24 seven and the interruptions are unreal. I had to stop and start this so many times and at this point, I just want to get it posted, so we're going to keep going, and this is going to be a hot mess of a video. <laughs> um, if you could only see what is actually happening around me right now, but <laughs> back to the application. So on this nail, the other thing I didn't do, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was just so into this stupid tiger movie on Netflix when I was applying these last night that I didn't even file down the um the base of the cuticle area of this nail so my nails are pretty curved at the cuticle area except my thumbs my thumbs are straight across so I don't have a 
perfect application on my thumb as I do on my right hand, but I feel like I can hide that when I paint these nails and get them like all, all done up. So here I'm realizing I have a couple of bubbles that are starting to pop up. So I'm trying to reflash cure before I put them in the big lamp because I'm realizing once I put them in the big lamp, that's it. Whatever bubbles are there are there. So I'm trying to just press down a little more in certain areas to get rid of those bubbles and it worked pretty good. I still ended up with just a few little bubbles in my nails, but for the most part it looked pretty good and you'll see that in the final um, photos that I show of the nails once they're done. And I went ahead and put the matte coat that I like underneath and now I'm cleaning up. Um, my nails and I always use this really fine bit. This fine, this super skinny, tall, fine bit for me is really great in getting into the areas where I get a little bit of the gel. And so I just go in and I file off the gel off each nail that I've spilled out or I make sure they're even. My poor thumb, because I didn't file the tip to fit properly, I had a lot of gel seepage and there's a lot of work um, that I had to do on my thumb. So I feel like the thumb portion is going to be super long in this video and I was really having a tough time trying to stay in frame of the camera so that you guys could see what I was doing and so that I could see what I was doing while I'm trying to watch this show on Netflix. I'm Seriously, has anybody else seen this show? Is the show like the craziest thing you've ever seen? I think it's like eight episodes and I'm on episode four now and I'm, I keep going, why am I watching this? What is this? Is this real life? But apparently it was. So, or maybe it's a big hoax. I don't know. But did anybody know about this before it aired or is it just me? I, I don't know. This the show is crazy. So if you need something to watch while you are um, socially isolating or if you're quarantined while you're quarantined, this will totally take your mind off the COVID-19. Um, so yeah, I'm just still cleaning up my nails here and I'm hoping I edited this where I don't show you all five nails because boy, will you be bored. And like I normally do, I go underneath and any excess gel, I kind of file that out as well. I just like it to have a nice clean look um, no matter which angle you're looking at the nail. And so I'm going under there and cleaning that all out, getting everything from the sides. And this teeny tiny little bit is perfect for that but you do have to be super careful. Uh, I found myself staring at the TV while doing this and I poked myself a couple of times, which is no bueno. Um, here I have a little bit rounder. It's more of a cuticle bit and this one is to clean around your cuticles. So I'm just going around now and trying to um, take off any excess gel and file the cuticle so it's nice and flush. Um, and I'm having a real hard time staying in frame here, so. I apologize for that, but I just go all around the cuticle area and just clean that up as much as I can. And that's something that I have to do because I got gel outside of the tips. If I didn't get the gel outside the tips, I wouldn't necessarily need to do much work here, just maybe a pass over, um, just to make sure that everything is flush when I apply my polish and everything. But because these are so thin in the cuticle area, they applied super nicely. I mean, I'm just really impressed with the look of these nails. I have, I still haven't painted them. Not sure what I'm going to do design wise on these because the color is just so beautiful that I kind of want to leave them alone, but I also want to maybe put some foil on there or maybe put some rhinestones on there. I have to decide. I also need to trim them down just a little bit more. I had trouble taking my contacts out last night, leaving them at this length. So they're going to have to be filed just slightly more so that I can put my contacts in and take them out without any issues. Um, I'm still going through all my nails, cleaning my cuticles here. And um, once I'm done with cleaning the cuticles, then I take the file that I have here and I just lightly buff the tips. And it's it almost seems like 
counterproductive with these tips because they're so beautiful and shiny but then you have to file the top and put a top coat on just to get that beauty back and that's just because if you're cleaning up any mess here I think if you applied them perfectly you could probably just leave them and go but um, by cleaning them up buffing them and um, then putting the top coat on it's just a little extra layer of thickness on the nail to help keep them nice and strong so that's probably another reason why you would want to do that and also if you are going to polish them with any polish if you want that polish to adhere you need something for it to adhere to and polish is not going to adhere well to a shiny nail so it needs to have that buff job done just as if you were doing your own natural nails you want a nice little light buff get the application perfect and then apply your polish whether it's gel polish or regular polish or um, foils or rhinestones whatever you're going to apply you want to have a good base to apply that to so that is why I go in and buff them and like I said I filed them down at this point just below the number um, that's always my starting point just below the number because I don't want the number to be seen so I either file the number off with my e-file or I file down past the number anytime I do any of these types of enhancement enhancements um, here I'm just trimming up some of the gel that's still on my nail that didn't come off with the e-file so I just want to get that off just so I can have a nice clean nail and then I'll go back in with my file and finish filing the nails and then putting the top coat on you can see here um, there they look really nice and thin so if my nails naturally were this long this is pretty much what they would look like they wouldn't have a um, high apex like the sculpted tips do that apre makes so apre you can get natural fit or sculpted fit and um, these are more in line with a natural fit to me um, i really like how they look they are i mean they just are so beautiful when they're done I, I'm super impressed and I'm happy to report I mean granted this is just day one but with extending the builder gel down the bottom of the nail and putting just top coat on the top of the nail these are super sturdy there is no flexibility in these nails at all so I'm super impressed I think they're gonna last I'm gonna leave them on for at least a week if not more I'm going to polish them. I'm going to change out my polish after a week, just like I would if I was wearing the apre tips, and we're going to see how long these actually last. But um, so far, I really like these. I would say these are very similar um, in feel and strength to the Kiara Sky tips, and with the Sierra tips. I can't talk anymore um, with the Kiara sky tips I could not file off the polish to refile when I tried to test out taking just the polish off it really impacted the um, strength of their tip I, I maybe went down too far I'm not sure but um, I did notice that they were a little bit more on the flexible side so I, I was just taking them off anyway so it wasn't a big deal um, but just something to consider we're going to see if these after a week can be filed and you can see here on some angles that there are some bubbles in the finished product um, but for the most part they look so good i love that you cannot see um, my free edge too much on these i i would feel confident just wearing these out just like this um, which with the apre I feel like I need a little more coverage in the free edge area of the nail but I'm so in love with these I am on board I just need e-nail couture to shorten their shipping times please 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 um, thanks for watching guys bye